Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Final Fantasy so you don't have to. Uh, last time we kind of got diverted around uh, trying to pick up the thread of the story. And then our ship got blown up for no reason. Um, and we caught a black kokobo who for also no reason had the missing crystal shards that we were missing. Um, so black kokobos are I guess going to be our next vehicle. Um, <clears throat> We can um, only land in forests with them, it looks like. It's not letting me land anywhere else. Um, so hopefully, this place that I'm headed to is the place I'm supposed to be going, and not some place that's way too hard for me to get to. So I guess we'll just see. And, uh, you know, I, get, I could see uh, an earth crystal being in a pyramid. That makes a certain amount of sense. I'm picking up turtle shells. Uh, I wonder when I'll get that um, chemist job or or alchemist or something like that. Oh, good lord, it's a dungeon. <sighs> okay. It's a conveyor belt dungeon, too, which is not necessarily my favorite thing in the world. Okay. <clears throat> no, no. Still not. No, god. Okay, well, I guess we're going to dive up into this. So, yeah, okay. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mid. What? 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 We're, <laughs> we're gonna use a bell to call a sandworm and then kill it and use it as a bridge. I mean, that's okay. That I've okay. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's let's call the sandworm. Sure. Oh, and don't use magic on it. Okay, I think I can handle that. I'm not too heavily dependent on magic for DPS. Oh, I vaguely remember this. This, this is uh, the. If I remember correctly, this is a thing that they do later in the game as well, or not in this game, but later in the series. Um, let's look what you what you got on under the hood. Um, teens and health vulnerable to water. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't really have anything for waters. Uh, well, I might have some use items. What have what we got here? Uh, nothing. 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 Okay. Never mind. Um, I think the there's an antlion battle in 9, if I'm remembering correctly, that um, works in a similar way. Now, it's vulnerable to water. He said not to use magic on it. I wonder what the actual drop, if it's like a... Oh, he's gonna move now. Um, if it's an actual, like, counter-attack that's pretty devastating, or what? Um, let's see. Let's, uh, slow you down. Oh, Sandstorm uses, or saps everyone. That's annoying. Still have... I still have no idea if that did anything. Um, I really wish I had a, an effect on that ability. Like protect and stuff. Yeah, dang it. That's frustrating. It's using gravity. Or not. Okay, well, this is all pretty reasonably manageable. Um. I wonder if it counts as being in back rows when it's like that, too. This is going to be a long battle. That's that's annoying. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. What? Wait. What? 
why did he attack that one? So if you attack the wrong one, then it uses gravity on a random person to counter. Okay. Well, that's also kind of dumb, but... But whatever. God damn it. Uh, uh, gravity, although I guess is a little bit forgiving in the sense that gravity, um, I don't know that it's a spell that we've encountered so far. Um, it'll show up as gravity or uh, demi, I think, in some of the games. Uh, but it only... Ah, oh, crap. Um, it only does damage in percentage values? God damn it. Um, so... Um, so you could never kill somebody with gravity, um, but obviously that's, that's the synergy in his skills is, is, uh, the use of both sap and, um, can I switch? No? Okay. Um, the synergy between sap and gravity, because sap will bring everyone down and then gravity can just... Or gravity brings everyone down, sap deals the final damage, essentially. This is really annoying. I don't like this boss battle. Uh, I think it's an interesting idea, but I don't think it's a very good execution. And I think the punishment is a little too harsh, too. Uh, because you are going to be queuing up attacks, like, that's, that's what you do when you attack. Um, and... It, it executes like similar to a uh, like a Final Fantasy IV like don't attack while this guy is guarding battle, um, but again I think oh there we go I think it's really easy to have those attacks misfire and then you could potentially get a party wipe before you're able to do anything about it. Cool, what I've always wanted, I guess. Thanks. Uh, good luck to you guys, too. Yeah, so not not my favorite boss battle. Not a terrible one, either, though. Cool. You guys want to heal me? I think I'll go out and use a tent real quick, just in case. Alright, let's try and... A sand bear and a desert killer. That That's a creepy looking sprite. What do I do now? Well, that one just disappeared. Now we can ride these sand ele er, es uh, escalators, conveyor belts around, and hopefully get out of here. Or maybe get to the pyramid. Both of those things sound uh, profitable, but maybe getting to that town first would be a better thing. Kind of frustrating that we can have uh, random encounters on them, but, uh, you yeah. know. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. So, like... This is a fairly common uh, type of dungeon. I would say probably especially in uh, Final Fantasy games, but uh, definitely in RPGs in general. Uh, this time I don't think it executes very well. 
uh, because everything looks so similar. I mean, the thing about... And you've got a lot of ground to cover. So the thing about a, a conveyor belt dungeon, right, is you should be able to do more than just guess and check. Because guess and check isn't that fun. Um, so really, what you should be doing is like, oh, I, you know, I think this is the right way. You know, and after a while, then you, um, you're able to actually look and see if the, the conveyors are going in the direction that you want them to go. But in this case, everything looks exactly the same. And there's so many of them that it's hard to see where any one, uh, thing goes somewhere. Um, so I don't think it, it does that well. But. Oh well. So he really wants me to go on that cactus. And it also looks like it's just like a big map in general, so you know, a little bit tricky to parse. Maybe the trick is not actually going on the S uh, the conveyors at all. Can I even do that? Oh. Uh, poison arrow. I like that they're dropping antidotes, though. That's at least a kindness. Like, I don't even really know where I'm supposed to be heading at this point, which is frustrating to me, and this isn't this isn't fun. I'm, I just feel like I'm going in circles until maybe I accidentally stumble on the right thing. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm grinding, so that's cool. I have plenty of stuff when I get wherever I'm supposed to be going. Okay, this is stupid. I'm going to stop recording this because it's boring to watch. So it's been about like five or ten minutes later. Uh, I found the pyramid, but apparently I can't get in because it's locked. Nobody thought to put a stupid... Ah. Nobody thought to put a dumb save point in this area, which, you know, would make sense because you just went through some bullshit conveyor belts to get here. I am not I am not happy about this uh, this dungeon one bit. Okay, well it's locked. So I mean I guess you're supposed to go to the south to the town then. I guess. Oh god, another weird, like, cactus roundabout. I 
please just let me out. That's all I want. That's all I want. I just want to not be here anymore. I'm gonna have to like switch. <gasps> Could this be it? Nope. Almost. I'm so close. That cactus formation looks like freedom. <gasps> Thank Christ. Okay, well. <laughs> that. That was terrible. And I would say I hope I never have to do that again, except I almost undoubtedly. Uh. Will have to do that again. And I hate everything. Have I ever. Oh, bio soldiers. Awesome. Bombs. Cool. All I want to do is go to this stupid town. Gone. The town of ruin. Doesn't sound like town music, though. Which makes me nervous because everybody in my party is dead. Oh, because it's the town of ruin. Is that... Is that why it's not a town? Please tell me that there's an inn here. That's that's all I really want. Can I just have an inn? Please? Uh, oh, it's the king? That's pretty odd. Uh, better leave and save my game. Uh, in a different file. Okay. Okay, um, can I tent them back to life? Oh, yay, good. Well, that's, that's nice. That makes me feel a lot better. Kind of. Alright, let's let's find that sneaky king fellow. Where'd he go? Oh! <laughs> he's so he's so puckish. Just pops out to taunt you. <laughs> Where are you going? out of the town, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, you're in the fireplace. Oh, yeah. Ferris is probably never... Oh! <laughs> oh the, old, the old classic trap door in the floor. Never saw that one. Oh, the other... Old classic splitting up the party. Love it. I thought they went over this already. Didn't we? Okay, maybe not. This place is strange. He's a tough old cuss. Whatever that means. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait a cotton picking minute. Oh. I was gonna say that would be a really interesting like oh, this music. The very foreboding music. That would be an interesting like uh mechanics teaching moment to show you him like climbing along the machinery on the bottom. Uh oh. This is this is a very mechanical place. This is probably the most mechanical we've seen so far. Well, I guess not. 
uh, uh, fire ship was pretty looked pretty technologically advanced. Ah. Uh -oh. Ah, ha ha. Nice. So that's why there's a connection between the town of Ruin and Crescent City. It's because there's a... Oh. Well, never mind. There was a teleporter connecting the two of them. Jeez. Okay, okay, I get it. Guess we're never going back there. What? Meanwhile, meanwhile, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, so we know to go to the Kokopo Forest. I guess. That was interesting. I mean, I, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's just like another way to strand you in Crescent Island. So that's a bit odd. Oh! Yeah, totally. Nice. Although no actual save point, which is kind of a bummer. And these bookcases don't have anything, which is also kind of bummer. This is a switch. Of course I want to pull it. I don't know. Check the planters in the center room. Oh, the planters. Okay. No. That's kind of cool. Except... Oh, those aren't planters. Those are pots. notepad in that room on the right. There better be some good treasure in here. What? Okay. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Before you get your pantaloons in a twist. Check the urn. Which urn? This urn? A frog? Uh, oh. That frog lives to knock down... What? Uh, go down eight and right four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. I mean, okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I mean, <laughs> that doesn't come anything close to resembling anything that makes any sort of sense, but, oh no, it's gonna, oh gosh, okay, that's weird, didn't terminate that event, um, but, but okay, I mean, I got some shurikens, and that's cool, I guess. Oh, what? What? Wait, pull, pulling that switch opens opens a hole? I wonder if that's what the switch is for. I never noticed that sound effect before. I'm pretty sure that's a sound effect from another game. Another Final Fantasy game, that is. Hmm. Interesting, and I should probably, you know, cross my fingers and knock on wood. It's interesting that they haven't been putting me through random battles. What? How, how is this the fire-powered ship? It certainly has the same music, that's for sure. Still has the dungeon in the bottom of it. 
Are we gonna get an airship that can fly over water? That would be exciting. Oh yeah, this is totally an airship. What in the hell are the ancients? That's a previously undis uh, an unknown uh, topic. Are they the people that built the, the ruined city and the Crescent Island town for some reason? <laughs> Hot diggity day! Yeah, just uh, <laughs> tighten and loosen this uh, this gear, and suddenly we have a flying ship. Seems pretty sad. <laughs> just just come on out of the elevator in the water. Sure, why not? That's interesting. The boss battle, maybe? Creeping crawdads! Oh. Oh, interesting, okay. Um, okay, what do, you, what do you got going on there? Weak against thunder is my guess. Yeah, vulnerable to lightning. Okay. Cheese biscuits and mashed potatoes, Barts? Wow. That's quite a serving. The evil warlock X death. That's true. Okay, guys. Where are we headed, though? Let's go where? Okay, so I guess we have an airship now, uh, which is cool. I, th I know that they really like this, uh, I think it's making use of the Mode 7 uh, tilted perspective. Uh, it makes it kind of hard for me to navigate, though, but I know. They're really impressed by it. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, what's going on? I'm glad this is where we're actually supposed to be going. This is the only place I thought to go. Oh my god. What? There's... what? 
What? What? What? Well, that was a cool cutscene, but where in God's name did it go? How did I find the map last time? There we go. Oh, nope, sorry, that's not actually helpful. <sighs> okay, well, okay, so a giant airship just took off from there, but it it's apparently nowhere to be found. Or look more like a floating fortress, I suppose. Does it want me to go straight back to the platform? Because that seems a little silly. It also doesn't control very precise. Like, I feel like instead of, like, when I press the button and my character normally would move two squares, like, this model moves... Er... Only moves one square. Oh! Um, the model moves two squares, but that... Yeah, we don't actually care about you. Okay, Chancellor. Is something going to happen in the middle of the night? Is it going to be a boss battle? It wasn't until you woke me up. Oh, oh, Bart's is awake too. Look, he's not closed eyes. He's all turned over. Sarissa? What? Why did she call her that? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Was there a point where she said said her other name? Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, repeating those spell names is really a lot. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay. Couldn't just say they're floating. That was a fun little story, side story bit. Oh. What is it?
What? What? I guess this counts as outside even though it's clearly within the castle grounds. Is this outside? Maybe? Well, while we're at it, we might as well, you know, raid the castle storehouse. Oh. This is in fact Ashura. That's a ninja sword. Nice. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't just get the summon Ashura, did I? No. Oh, is it a katana? Yeah, okay. For when I become a samurai. Diamond bell. Wait, a bell? That's not a staff at all. Demons. Huh. Good against demons. That'll be useful, I suppose. Still says the Chancellor wants to talk to me. Oh, cool. Oh, yep. Always. The Chancellor always wants to talk to you. Okay. Alright, well, um, I think we will cut the episode here. Um, now that we have an airship and we have the whole world open to us. Uh, next time, we'll maybe find out what's up with the Earth Crystal, maybe someday. Uh, until then, enjoy yourselves. Thank you for watching.